to my channel thank you so much for tuning into today's video today I'll be showing you the first five things I do on any new galaxy device that I get um, I start off by installing a new theme on my phone because that just really personalizes it and just gives it you know my own personal touch to the phone so there's so many different options on the galaxy theme store and i just love this feature of owning an android phone and especially a galaxy phone because they have their own theme store and it's just super easy to navigate because you can search by color palettes categories keywords or tags and so it's just really intuitive and you can practically find anything that you like i am 100 percent sure that you will find it here but for today i'm just going to install one that i previously purchased on the galaxy theme store i used this one on my s22 plus and it's a cherry blossom one that is by a korean designer or artist and i just love the colors and also the fact that it reminds me of japan and sakura season and because i'm going to be going to japan this spring i just really really love this uh, theme here because it just really reminds me of springtime which is honestly one of probably my favorite seasons of the year The next thing that I do is probably change my font because that also really personalizes it and makes it my own. So here as you can see, I'm just navigating to the options to go ahead and install a new font. I download most of my fonts from the Galaxy Store and you have a lot of uh, free options and there's also some paid options um, but for today i think i'm just gonna go with the free option i need to figure out if there's a way for me to pull previously purchased fonts um, because i didn't see that option and i would like not to have to pay for something i already bought once so <laughs> Hopefully, um, I can find an option for that. But today, I'm going to use Choco Cookie, which is from Samsung themselves. And I'm just going to install that um, to make my phone cuter and more personable. I will say that you will only see the font change on those apps or services that support it like the settings on the phone will change and if you're using Samsung text messaging app you'll see it there um, also Instagram supports font changes so you'll see that your um, Instagram menus like here's my Instagram it changed the text the font of the of my Instagram because of my uh, settings because of my font and you know TikTok doesn't support it so on TikTok as you can see you are not able to um, replicate that font because TikTok does not support font changes on their app. YouTube is another one that does support font changes. The next thing I really like to do is change my notification sounds and my ringtone. So for that, I use this app called The Sedge. I've been using this app for many, many years. I believe back until I had like the Galaxy S3 and uh, no, S6. Um, and you can verify that with my previous videos from years ago. I just absolutely love this app because they have so many different sounds that you can download from here and they have a lot of them like just super cute ones from like Korea or um, stuff like that and you can just download it and use it and it just makes your 
phone just more personable i'm not gonna play any of the sounds that i usually uh grab just because i don't want to have any copyright strikes but i do search for like korean cute um notification sounds or just korean sounds just kind of like that on the search bar i will say that if you don't pay for their monthly service or yearly you will get a ton of ads on here but i just kind of navigate through them and download the free options available they also offer like a ton of wallpapers and just like different sounds ringtones notification tones um they just have a ton of different options which is why i like this app My favorite part is to add widgets to my home screen to make it more personable and functional and super cute. So right here I'm just looking for the best uh, widgets to add and of course you know me if you follow me for a while you know I have to have to have a calendar widget so obviously that's what I'm going for first and i think that i want to add a countdown widget this time for my trip to japan so i think that's what i'm gonna add first i also want to change that airplane icon that's on there i don't quite like it so what i'm just gonna do is download more stickers from the galaxy store they have a ton of different options for free so that's why I love downloading their stickers because you can use them on pictures, on text messages, on just pretty much about anything that is, you know, where you can add a sticker. You can use these stickers on your keyboard and you can download them from the Galaxy Store and a lot of them are free, especially from this uh, company or creator called OGQ. And I'm just trying to find like a super cute one for um, to change just that that plane to make it cuter. I think I'm just going to go for something simple, probably like just the weather or something like that. But as you can see, there's so many, so many different options that are free. There's also some paid options, but honestly, there's so many options that are free that I haven't really browsed through the paid options available. To make it easier, I'm just gonna search for travel sticker and see what comes up and probably select something from there. I think this first one looks pretty cute. It reminds me more of Europe, but some of these stickers I think I could apply to my trip to Japan. Uh, but let's keep looking to see if I find something cuter that I can add to this. I settled on the sun from the weather sticker pack I just downloaded and I think I'm just gonna go with that and set it as the icon for this uh, specific trip. I think the sunny sun <laughs> will look good. And I'm just gonna go in and add more widgets to this home screen. So I'm gonna go to my widget menu and I'm probably gonna add this um, battery percentage widget because I have a lot of different Bluetooth devices connected to it so I'd like to be able to check like my my battery on all devices like my watch my butts my pen and the phone itself so it lists everything here I think it's super functional and it's just good to be able to keep tabs on what you need to charge let's just go in and add more of the widgets available. I really love how they've added a ton of different options now and they all look really good. The next thing I'm gonna add is probably gonna be this calendar widget so that I can see any things that I need to remind myself to do. And I'm gonna add this direct dial widget I love this because then I can easily call my contacts and my loved ones 
and I just have quick access to them and I don't have to scroll through my contact list to just call them and usually I just put here like my close family members and it's just so much easier to contact them through this I actually noticed on this phone that the gallery widget was actually already pre-installed and I didn't have to go into the Galaxy store and download this like DLC which is basically um, on my previous phone the C Flip 4. I actually went into the Galaxy store and searched up gallery widget or photo widget and it was um, the widget function for the Samsung gallery. But on this device, this function was already pre-installed. So I think it was just like a software update. And honestly, I think it has to do a lot with the fact that, you know, um, iPhone added a feature like this. And so now it became readily available to see versus before you had to download it as an additional feature. The last step I take to really personalize my phone and make it my own is adding just a super cute case that reflects how I'm feeling and how I like my phone to look and to just kind of um, showcase like the theme of the phone and like I said before my theme was about Sakura's and just Japan in general so I decided to add this case to buy case that they gifted me for my Galaxy S23 Ultra unboxing video if you haven't seen that already I'll link it somewhere around here or in the description down below so you can go ahead and watch it but they so kindly gifted me these cases and so I'm gonna add that to today's video because I really really like this case I love the Sakura and Mount Fuji in the background is super cute. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoy it and see you on the next one. Bye.